Hello students. Today we will start with the word problems. It is not that tough. It is very easy. You just have to do that. Is you have to read the question very carefully and solve it. You have to frame the sentences or the statement according to the question and solve it. Okay, so let's start. So students, let's read the question very carefully and let's try to frame the statement according to the question. Okay, so let's start. Akanksha watered five rows of carrots. Tina watered four rows of carrots. How many rows of carrots did they water in all? So now, as you see the question, there are two girls, that is Akanksha and Tina. So, Akanksha has watered four rows of carrots and Tina has watered four rows of carrots. So, you have to find the total. So, now see here Akanksha watered five rows of carrots. So, as you see this is the first part of the question. Okay. Akanksha watered five rows of carrots. This is the first part of the question. So, let's write the statement for this part. So, Akanksha watered how many rows? She watered 5 rows. So, you will write like this. Number of rows watered by Akanksha is equal to 5 rows. Okay. Now, let's go to the second part. Tina watered 4 rows of carrots. Now, how many rows did Tina water? Four rows. Four rows. So, you will write like this. Number of rows watered by Tina is equal to four rows. Okay. You will write four rows. So, now let's go to the third part of the question. How many rows of carrots did they water in all? So, you will have to find the total number. So, you will write like this. Therefore, total number of rows of carrots watered is equal to, you will write 5 rows. Okay. Then plus 4 rows. Okay, you will write like this. Now, let us add 5 plus 4. How much is 5 plus 4? It is 9. 9 rows. Okay, so you will write the answer here. Answer is equal to 9 rows of carrots. So, this way you will do the word problems. Okay, so now we will go to the next question. Okay, students. So, the next question is, Raju bought 7 oranges and Suresh bought 6 oranges. How many oranges did they buy in all? So, now let us see the first part of the question. The first part of the question says, Raju bought 7 oranges. So, how many oranges did Raju buy? That is 7 oranges. So, the statement will be like this. Number of oranges bought by Raju. So, how many it was? 7 oranges. Then the next part of the question, Suresh bought 6 oranges. So, how many oranges did Suresh buy? 6 oranges. So, the statement is like this. Number of oranges 
bought by Suresh. You'll write equal to six oranges. Then the third part of the question. How many oranges did they buy in all? So you have to find the total number of oranges bought by Suresh and Raju. So let's see. So therefore total number of oranges bought all together you will write 7 oranges plus 6 oranges. So you will write like this 7 oranges plus 6 oranges. So you have to add now 7 plus 6. How much it is? It is 13. 13 oranges. So this way you have to add. Then your answer will be 13 oranges. So write like this. Now let's go to the next question. Question number C. Question number C. Sahil had 8 pence. His mother gave him 7 more. How many pence does he have now? That means Sahil is having 8 pence with him and his mother gave him 7 more pence. So now in total how many he has altogether? So the first part of the question, Sahil had 8 pence. So how many pence did Sahil had? That is 8 pence. So the statement will be number of pence with Sahil. That means he already have how much? 8 pence. So let's write 8 pence. Then second part, his mother gave him seven more. So number of pence Sahil's mother gave him seven pence. Seven pence his mother gave. Now third part of the question, how many pence does he have now? So you have to find the total. So therefore total number of pens with Sahil is equal to, you will write 8 pens eight pens then plus 7 pens so now add 8 plus 7 how much it is? It is 15. 15 pence. Okay. Then your answer will be 15 pence. So this way you have to do the word problems. Is it okay students? It is not that tough. The only thing is that you have to read the questions very carefully and frame the sentences. Alright. So try to do it. The next questions will do in the next video.